everyone, this is Casey at BB Dolls, and today I am going to make you a video showing how to make eyebrows on a custom doll. This is the method that I use for my Blythe dolls, and I know it's a question that comes up frequently. I am not an expert at it, I'm still practicing and modifying what I do to make it better, um, but I finally have kind of a system and you can use my advice and make it better if you see a way to do it better. So today the doll that I'm actually currently working on is actually a Pollock doll and this is what she is looking like. I really am really really excited about her. I love how she's coming out. So I just wanted to show you really quickly what she looks like with her eyes in but we are going to do the eyebrows without the back on. So this is what she looks like. Um, so for eyebrows, I use my color pencils or um, watercolor pencils. So first I'm going to pick out a couple colors that I think I want to use. She is going to be a redhead, so I will probably pick something that's kind of brown with maybe a little bit of red in it. So I have a couple colors. This is called Willow. This one is called Copper Beach. And this one's called Van Dyke Brown. So what I do when I'm picking a color is sort of put them all on a piece of paper. And see all of these are, are somewhat similar. So I think, is it the willow? I think I'll probably go with the willow. It has, you know, a, a good amount of brown, but it's also kind of reddish. So I know the copper beaches too, but it's still more brown. So I'm gonna go with the willow. Um, I use several different watercolor pencils, but the brand, the brand that I use currently for the most of them is Derwent Ink and Tents, Ink Tents, and I get these at an art supply store. They do not carry them at craft stores like Michaels or any of those places. So the first thing that you're going to want to do with your pencil is make sure that it's very sharp. Let me grab my garbage. So I have this old pencil sharpener that I use currently, but I probably need a better one but I only recently discovered how important it is to have a super sharp pencil for this. So sharpen your pencil pretty much as sharp as you can get it. And then what I do is I kind of look at the face and think about what I want the eyebrows to express. So if you make eyebrows angled down, your doll is going to look angry. If you make eyebrows angled this way from the top down she's going to look a little more surprised innocent which I, I really like but my eyebrows tend to always kind of just be in a sort of neutral expression which is kind of like just um, horizontal so I apologize I do have a cold right now and I'm drinking some tea so just one second So I think about where I want them before I draw them. Another thing that you can do is take your piece of paper and practice. So the way that I kind of do eyebrows is like this. So once you get to this point, eyebrows naturally kind of do this sort of thing. And so that's kind of the, the format of your eyebrow. And then what you're going to want to do is once you put this on the doll, then you can kind of add more hairs. But you just want to kind of be careful as you add them so you don't make a really big mistake. And then this part of the eyebrow always gets sort of dark. If you notice people's eyebrows, um, you'll see that. So I kind of just color that in. 
So that's basically how I do it, adding more as you go. One good thing about using a watercolor pencil, because I have done this occasionally when I want to use a brighter color, um, I've used acrylic paint with a paintbrush, which I will say is much harder than a pencil, but it's definitely possible. So the good thing though about the watercolor pencil is if you don't like what you've done, you can just take a, a damp Q-tip and wipe it off. And sometimes it leaves a little bit of residue, but it's really not a problem to just take it right off and start again. So that's one of the reasons that I use watercolor pencils because it's very easy to fix a mistake. Once you've decided the angle that you want the eyebrow to be in, you're going to just very carefully start. So I'm thinking a lot of times also you want to think about how high and how low. A lot of times people put the eyebrow much higher than it should be. So I want them to kind of angle down in sort of an innocent look. And you also want to think about how full you want them. Do you want small eyebrows sort of just off to the side? Or do you want them to come very close to the center? Um, Probably you don't want a unibrow, but you understand what I mean, the closer they are together. So I'm going to start probably about right here. And as my advice for everything with customizing is to always just go very slowly. The faster you try to get something done, the easier it is to make a mistake. So here we have like the preliminary eyebrow and then you want to make sure that you're going on the opposite side about the same height and look, angle your doll's head as you do your brows and kind of come down at the end. So you want to start kind of higher and then come down at the end. So now I will add more and as I said in this part of the eyebrow it usually is darker on people so So a lot of times what I'll do is then sort of put the doll back together with her eyes and sort of hold the hair up so you can kind of see if that's what you want. And then you will of course oops, spray the doll with a coat of Mr. Super Clear to seal the eyebrows so you find her So this is her hair, and I'm, I really don't like it. It's not the same material as a blight, so the curl, I can't get it out, the factory curl, and it's very stiff, um, even though I've done my best to soften it. So I might be ordering her a different wig, because it's actually just a wig. It's not a scalp like on the blight dolls, so that's kind of cool in a way, because you can change the hair more easily. So I don't know, but if I do order her hair, it's going to be a similar color. So anyway, I will hold the hair up and kind of check out the eyebrows and make sure they are what I want. And I think that they look really good. So that's it. Like I said, the next step would be to seal it with some Mr. Super Clear Spray and then her eyebrows are done. So this doll is pretty much done. I might be adding a little bit of color to her ears. One of the things I also like about Pollock dolls is they have ears, which is really cute. Blythe dolls have ears, but they're flat and not very noticeable, and these are. So I'm probably going to cut her hair in some way that you can see her ears, because I love them. And a few more touch-ups, and then I have to um, figure out her hair and put her back together, and we'll see what she looks like. So I still haven't decided if I'm going to sell this doll or not. 
but you can check out my Facebook and I'll put the link below if you are interested in seeing what she looks like finished. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos on customizing dolls and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching.